Welcome back y'all, we're starting off in the truck today, we got a little bit of a road trip. Not a long one, just a short one, we're just going to the edge of town to hopefully make a deal on something special. See you there. like we're at the right place well we made a deal very nice gentleman retired works on the lawnmowers get some running and in fact uh, when I rolled up he was actually using it to cut his grass so there's my demonstration I know it works and it works good uh, he even does repairs on them if you run into a problem so you can't beat it uh, I am heading back into town now to get some cash I'm gonna run back out and pay the gentleman and then uh, he's even going to deliver it for me. But I'm going to have him bring it to our house because I want to clean it up and uh, get it ready to go to his place because I don't want to take it there dirty. Well, we got the gentleman paid for the lawnmower. He's behind us. He offered to deliver it for free as part of the deal. So we're going to take him up on that offer. He's following us to our house. We're going to unload it there. We're going to clean it up a little bit. Then we're going to take it over to my in-laws tonight. And surprise him. Hopefully he's surprised. <laughs> Alright guys, here's what we ended up with. A Craftsman LT1000. It is a 20.5 horsepower. Brakes and Stratton motor. Very clean. New plugs. Oil's changed. New battery. Everything looks like it's ready to go. It may or may not need a muffler. We can figure that out. But, uh, we can't take this thing over there in a dirty condition, so we're going to throw a coat of wax on the old girl and see if we can shine her up just a little bit. And then I'll tell you all about it. This is about as clean as we are going to get it. It's a used lawnmower, folks. It's not a Ferrari. But the seat's got no cracks, which is good because you're not going to get a wet butt. Easy to drive. Hydrostatic transmission. Clutch is on the left as well as your brake. This one here will adjust your deck height. That one right there is your throttle. This will engage your PTO to run your deck. Pretty simple setup. I think what we're going to do now is we're going to put some fuel in it so he doesn't have to worry about fuel. Which, as we can see, is right in the back. Let's see how much is in there. Oh, guess we don't need to put any in. It has plenty of fuel. We might want to look at getting another cap when you can actually read the uh, amount of fuel. Other than that, it's a pretty clean unit, as I said, 20.5 horsepower, Briggs and Stratton. It's got a fairly new fuel filter. Starter looks like it's in pretty good shape. <laughs> we all know what me and starters do, right? We won't talk about that right now. I'm guessing the uh, headlight switch is right here on the key switch. The most important feature is a cup holder. Uh, like I said before, this is your forward and reverse. Easy maintenance. Looks like we got a new plug. Oil goes in there. Looking over here at the carburetor. It looks clean as well. Hopefully this does what we need it to do. Now the uh, 
gentleman that we got this from. He's a retired guy that lives out in the county. Buys old lawnmowers, fixes them up, and sells them in his spare time. He's re like I said, he's retired. He's got spare time. And uh, very nice gentleman. Delivered this for us, even though we didn't have to. And I think we got a pretty good deal. The deck is not rusted out. You look down here, still got the paint on it. Heavy duty metal, not rusted at all, which is a good thing. It's a 42 inch cut. So he should be able to get through his lawn in a hurry with minimal effort. And that's the whole idea, minimal effort. No, we didn't forget about you, Alice, not at all. Now, before you all go thinking that we won the lottery and started buying everybody everything, that is not the case. My mom, we bought her a used SUV, which needs a little bit of work, which is good because I can make content with it and my mother is able to get out of the house and go do things as like I said before as opposed to just sitting in our apartment all day long. My father-in-law, Jen's dad, is getting up in years and he's got a big lawn. I know I already mentioned this but he likes to take care of his lawn. Problem is it is big. He's got a big front yard and a big backyard and he's using a push mower that is not self-propelled. Hence the reason we decided to buy this riding lawnmower so that he can still take care of his lawn with like i said minimal effort that's the whole idea so this whole thing is about making somebody else's life easier in the case of my mom with the car she can go places she can do things makes her happy and that's what that's about this lawnmower is about jen's dad not having to overdo it in a 95 degree heat because he can be stubborn he'll be out there cutting his grass when it's that hot well, now he can. We might even buy him a straw hat. Maybe we should stop and get him a big old, great big old sombrero. That's not a bad idea. If it brings a smile to somebody's face, that's what matters. All right, Ella and I got the lawnmower all loaded up. We're about to head across town and we'll see if he's surprised at all. Hey guys, okay, so I was supposed to start filming when it came off the thing, but I'm starting earlier. So we are at my grandparents and I'm taking it off the trailer right now. Well, my dad is, sorry. I'm not doing anything except for filming because that's my job now. Okay. So, my dad's just taking it off the thing right now. And, okay, I'm gonna go like up here and then I'll just move. I'm not a very good vlogger. You're good. That's. <laughs> Yeah, Dad. Do you want me to? Well, here's your Father's Day present. I'm shutting it off. Well, we got the lawnmower dropped off. He was quite surprised. Again, not everybody likes a camera stuck in their face. So we got a little bit of filming that Edel. Edel. Her name's not Edel. It's Ella. That Ella did. And uh, that was about it. Well, I didn't know that you wanted me to keep filming. And I said I was putting it. That's all right. When it comes time to cut his grass in a couple of days, we're going to go over there and. Uh, and run through it with them. So I showed them how to use it, but uh, between now and the next time we use it, it might be a few days. So my memory's not that good either. So 
in a couple days we'll head over there we'll cut, cut the grass and we can put it to good use anyway that's all i got for today's video hope you all enjoyed that uh trying to make somebody's day a little bit easier see y'all the next one